thao. It's a jargony way to say this, but basically, too much is not good. Hmm. Readings are troubling, but inconsistent. The only way I'll figure out what's going on is to test nearby emissions. That steam vent's a good place to start. There's something in here that doesn't belong. Let's analyze it. Mercury. Bonded with... something else. I can't tell what. This obviously isn't confined to one building. A lot of people are at risk. See what a sample from this can tell me. Nitric acid in there, too, but also something else. I'm on the right track, just need to keep following. Phew, that stinks to high heaven. Time to find out what's in it. Ethanol. Why is this sounding so familiar? Mercury with nitrogen and ethanol. Gotta get back on the trail. When this is over, I'll alert the health department so they can check on the local residents. I found the problem. Caustic chemicals are leaking out of those barrels and into the plumbing. Need to clean up the site fast. Huh. The calcium and silicon in concrete makes it an ideal absorption material. Looks like I'll have to make a mess to fix this mess. One down. Nice, it's working. Just a couple more barrels. Last one. Gotta stay above this stuff. <laughs> See, uh. I could 
could have been way worse. Harry's research station just proved why it needs to stay open. Are you okay, ma'am? Carmen, and I'm fine. It's my husband, Rodrigo. He's been acting weird, and I just found out he's meeting this woman. Well, listen, I'm not the best person to help with relationship problems. It's not like that. I think she's involved with bad people. Rodrigo might be in real trouble. He's scared, but he won't tell me anything. I can check it out. Any idea when he's meeting her next? Tonight, by the detox center in Greenwich. Okay. Don't worry, Carmen. I'll find out what's going on. Detox center's not far. Carmen just sent me Rodrigo's picture. Let's see if I can find him. Rodrigo. He's really nervous. That woman doesn't seem like a girlfriend. I'll get a photo and see if Carmen recognizes her. You better not hold anything back. Why would I? Bad angle. Got Need to get it straight on. My life's over. Give me the plan. Just what I needed. Looks good. Remember, tell anyone about this. You look confused. Plans. This 
sounds bigger than I thought. I better follow the blackmailer and find out how big. Carmen, I'm uploading a photo to you. Does this woman look familiar? No, I've never seen her. What were they talking about? Sounds like she's blackmailing him. She mentioned something about plans. My husband works with you. She could be planning a heist, but I'll need more evidence before I can do anything. Let me know if I can help. All right. I'm gonna see where she's taking the plans. I'll be in touch. Another victim? Or an accomplice? I need a photo. No perches with a good angle on this new guy. Looks like it's the underside of the highline. Another victim? Or an accomplice? I need a photo. No perches with a good angle on this new guy. Looks like it's the underside of the Highline. No way you're really spicy, right? Got it! Yeah. As soon as he saw the photo, he fell in line. Riddle always was a sucker. Boss will be asked. Let's see the plans. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta catch my train. Don't want to keep the boss waiting. That's gonna be our biggest score yet. Hell yeah. How many people are in on this? I've gotta follow him. Yeah. getting off. Uh, tapping into the train system should help me follow the train's path. Carmen, the blackmailer met some guy under the High Line. Sounded like you knew your husband. I'm sending you the photo. That's Deshaun, Rodrigo's best friend from college. He went to prison years ago on a robbery charge. Casino plans and a criminal record. Not a great combination. I need to find out who else is in on it. If they're hitting the casino, they'll need at least a wheelman and a safe cracker. I watch a lot of heist movies. Sounds like it. I'll let you know what I find out. Into the line. I should head over near the subway exit and wait for him to get out. He's heading for that office building.
kept their positions on the map. It's practically a kid. My brother. You can't trust. Anyway, it's done. It's already picking up our city. Roman's ready and we are running late. Let's roll. They're on the move. I have all the evidence I need. Now I just have to stop that car. I love it when a plan falls apart. Hey, Carmen. Your husband's pal and his team just had their trip to beautiful Atlantic City canceled. Thank you. I spoke to Rodrigo. That blackmail photo shows him driving the night Deshaun committed the robbery. But Rodrigo didn't know about it. He was just picking up his friend. I've got a contact on the force. She'll help Rodrigo. Especially if he'll agree to testify about the blackmail. He will. Or I'll show him he needs to be a lot more afraid of me than Deshaun. Thanks, Spider-Man. I've always been about the truth. When I was a reporter and a newspaper publisher, I printed the truth. And now as a broadcaster, I speak. Sometimes it hurts. But it's my responsibility to bring it to you. And the truth is, the city is not quiet. It is not peaceful. It is a disaster waiting to happen. Threats roiling under the surface like a hungry shark just beneath the waterline. Don't let Spider-Man fool you. You are not safe. None of us are. Hey, Pete. This lab monitors the health of marine life, and we've got a bunch of medicine on site if you need it. But the effects these diseases have, they're just... they are not something any living creature should go through. Looks like there's a bacterial infection in the fish. I better take care of it before the food supply is contaminated. Found an antibacterial spray in the lab that should heal the fish. I just need to spray it over the water and fast before people start getting sick. 
First step, get to the docks. I bet whatever's in those barrels caused the problem. Gotta get him out of the water. Just call me your friendly neighborhood garbage man. These barrels are smarter than some of the guys I usually fight. Clear, this is a perfect spot to spray. If I spread it evenly, the water currents will take it far and wide. Cover a wide area. spread it to other fish, which is good, because there's not much for me to swing from further out. Based on the water currents, there's another area I need to hit. More barrels. Definitely the source of the bacteria. I'll get rid of them. Great thing about barrels, they don't shoot at me. The downside is, I don't think these barrels appreciate my quips. Fishy fishies, this is good for you. This is why I never had an aquarium. I bet someone calls this into Jameson as Spider-Man, water polluter. Okay. Time to find a spot to scan my finny friends and make sure they're cured. All clean. Well, by the standards of the docks. We stopped an outbreak before it started. It'll be tough for Oscorp to argue this station isn't pulling its weight.
Okay, so this station collects overflow data from all the others. Yeah, God forbid we waste Oscorp's server space. Anyway, do me a favor and make sure it's running smoothly, or everything these stations do is for nothing. This isn't nearly enough server space. It's close to overloading. That'll trigger a purge, and everything Harry has will be lost. I can't let that happen. Wait, ESU has a backup server near here they never use. That can handle the excess data, but I'll need to realign the transmission dishes to make a link from here to there, fast. The active receiver's easy to find. Just have to get... Okay, now to find another link in the array. Got it. Just have to keep doing that. What's taking up all that space on Harry's servers? Looked like DNA sequencing, but that seems beyond the scope of the research stations. Focus, Pete. It won't matter what's on the server if it all gets erased. Close. Should be in view of the ESU server now. Got it. Now I can initiate the data transfer if I hurry. Looks good. Good. Looks good. Hmm. It's working. Everything's stored successfully. Should be fine until I have Norman assign Harry some more server space. And he'll be glad to when he sees what the stations have been doing.
Okay, be careful in here, Pete. This station analyzes hazardous chemicals, and basically trying to figure out how to counteract them if they ever got out into the world, which <coughs> hopefully they never will. Oh no, someone broke in and stole a volatile rocket propellant. And they must have cracked the container because it's leaking. From the timestamp on the security cameras, it just happened. I need to get it back. My spider bots are still just prototypes, but this is a good time to test one. Its sensors can follow the chemical trail. Better than me swinging up on the thief. If he freaks out and drops the hydrazine, he'll blow up half a block. Gotta find a quiet place to deploy the spider. Okay, little guy. Let's find where the chemical drift and vacuum it up before it makes someone sick. Not only is Mini-Me cleaning up the spills, it's leading me right to the thief. The thief's hiding in crowds. I'll disperse him with a subsonic blast. Won't hurt anyone, but it's super annoying. Lucky this stuff's only dangerous over a long exposure. Or if it can bust. Maybe. Maybe not. End of the trail. He's running. I gotta wrap him up with a web burst. Got him. Now to get the fuel back. Spider-Man! I was in Times Square during the Fisk assault. Just want to say thank you. Say bye bye, buddy. You're a lot shorter than I thought. You. Got it. Now I just need to return the fuel to the station. This little spider bot's useful. If I can ever find a way to make them cost effective, they'd be a big help. Wait till mom sees this. Chemicals back where it belongs, I beefed up the station's security, and sent Yuri the camera footage to convict the thief. Not a bad day's work. This is one station that was already earning its keep. It should be safe from being shut down, especially now that the chemicals are locked away. So this station monitors water pressure down to the individual building. Structures above four stories use water towers to augment the city's system. The idea is to identify problems before they spread. You know? Whoa. The 
pressure in this building's all over the map. I need to find out why. The water towers connect to the city's system at the four-story mark. I'll scan the pipes, try to see where this starts. Pipes are fine up here. Whatever's causing this, it's lower. Here's the problem. Valve's at the wrong setting. Easy enough to fix. That shouldn't have happened. We better seal these fast before Jameson pins it on me. Just in time. Just call me the amazing spider plumber. Huh, even better than duct tape. Last one, but those won't hold long. Pressure shouldn't be that high. Unless the drainage is blocked. I'll check the outlet pipe. The outlet pipe's down by the waterfront. I'll go see if anything's blocking it. Yeah. Now I ask, how many other heroes fight crime and fix your shower? And now Oscorp can't deny Harry Station stopped a public utility meltdown.
Herman, long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. <laughs> Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Want to play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb rest? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa, your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You want to fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me so young and stupid, you just stupid. So much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I don't, they'll kill me. Coming your way. First fight, me so young and stupid, you just stupid. You don't know much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking? Remember our first fight, me so young and stupid. You just stupid! You don't so much! Well, that's a matter of a- Okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I don't, they'll kill me! Me so young and stupid, you just stupid. You talk so much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Also, how would you measure it? Words per minute, syllables per second? Or is it more about how many words one uses to express a single thought? It's all so subjective, if you ask me. Some people don't talk enough. Think about who their mysterious overlord is. The person they're working for, that kind of thing. Now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I do, they'll kill me! Quick now, for your own good! This one's gonna hurt. You come clean, I can help you! You really want to help me? Let, let me have my money! Sorry, not gonna happen. Also, 
How would you measure it? Words per minute, syllables per second? Or is it more about how many words one uses to express a single thought? It's all so subjective. If you ask me, some people don't talk enough. Think about who their mysterious overlord is. The person they're working for, that kind of thing. <laughs> Okay, catch this one. Okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I don't, they'll kill me! anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, try day trade. It's all the rage. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. oh, come on, Herman. If you tell me who you're working for, I can help you cut a deal. If I talk... Yourself. Literally. <laughs> 